Hey everybody, welcome back to my floss tube. If you are new here, this is a channel about primarily cross stitch. Sometimes I do other stuff, but nowadays, mainly cross stitch. If you are coming back, thank you for coming back with me. I love having my stitchy friends. I've got so much to talk about today, so I'm glad that you are here. So much stitch in progress this week. I'm so proud of myself. A tiny, tiny little bit of haul. And just want to do some shout outs to some folks. Oh, and a new mystery project bag that I have started. It's a club for every month. So let's get started. I know that the, the thing that everybody's going to be talking about right now is gas prices and everything going on with Ukraine. So prayers for everybody. I know this is going to affect a lot of different people. So if you're in my thoughts and my prayers. So it's kind of one of those times it's rough to be on social media if, other than Stitchy Friends. I love Stitchy Friends because it's always so upbeat and friendly and I can't I can't wander too far from the Stitchy though because it gets to me seeing so much stuff on social media. And then people with the different opinions that can't do it. Anyway, so market just happened. Oh my word. So many amazing designs. I'm recording this on my computer because I wanted to be able to reference the screenshots on my phone. Do y'all do that? Take so many screenshots. Um, oh my word. There's so many that I'm wanting to do right now. First, before I get into the, the different, no, let's just continue on our train of thought. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I screenshot way too much. Okay, this one, Let Love Rain. It's a new one by Teresa Kogut. Am I saying it right? Um, it says, Love Your Family is the name of the pattern. And it says, If you want to change the world, go home and love your family. Oh, my word. I love that. That is like a have to, have to have. So that's one that I want. Let Love Reign in Your Heart and Home by Teresa Kogut. That's another one that I have to have. Um, I love it, love it. And for those of you that don't know, my I choose a word of the year every year. And this year the word is love because you're supposed to love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It doesn't envy. It doesn't boast. It isn't self-seeking. It doesn't keep records of wrong. Whoa, that's hard to do. So I wanted to make that my focus for this year. And so all these patterns that are coming out about love, I need them. Um, the next one is Season 2 by Hands-On Designs. Um, it's got a bunch of different months on it. I'm not sure. I think, I don't know. I think this is a new market release. Six Pack Stitches on Instagram had posted this one. And I'm going to start shouting out to my friends on Instagram because you guys are my friends. And I want to show some love. You guys inspire me so much. So this is one that I want to have. Um, I need to hang on. I forget. I got to make a list of who I mentioned so I can tag you guys. So six pack stitches. All right. Let me look. The other one, Summertime by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Y'all know I'm a summertime girl. Or a Primrose Cottage Stitches girl. So, that one is so cute. I love Hello Summer. I love Hello Spring. I've already done Hello Autumn. I haven't done Hello Winter. Um, That one. A Heart Remembers by Blackbird Designs. That one is so cute. Miss Janet Jabber. That's one that she wanted to do, too. So, Tag Miss Janet, because I want to give you guys shouts out. Um, let me see. Okay, y'all, the traveling, if you've not looked this girl up, look her up. She constantly inspires me by how many pieces that she's got done. I think, she, I don't know, it was crazy how many that she said that she had already got done, but she has been stitching the Prairie Schooler Santa collection, and now she's doing 
the Prairie Lodge Christmas ornaments by the Prairie Schooler. I don't think these are new market releases, but go check her out. Um, it is The Traveling Viking Mama is who she is. But look at the ornaments. They're so cute. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think these are pretty big um segments of color and maybe that's how she's able to get them out so fast because there's not a lot of color changes but I'm not sure I have bought the prairie schooler Santas but I haven't started them yet so yeah I need to check them out but she inspires me all the time y'all go check her out um where's this one um bent creek cross stitch I mean, there's so many. They've got one that says spring. There's so many that I'm wanting to stitch. Uh, look for the beauty in everything. That one's cute. I don't know. There's a lot. A lot to stitch. Um, I haven't seen all of the... Oh, this one. Sweet Wing Studio. Mercy there was great and Grace was free. It is beautiful. There it is. I want to do that one for Easter. So, super cute. So, I say all that. I really do love getting on and seeing everybody on Instagram. Um, Y'all just inspire me so much. Um, OG Stitchery. Um, you know, there's just so many of you. Miss Janet. I mean, Handwork Maniac. Y'all are just awesome. Y'all are my friends. I was making sure I didn't have any more ones. Um... My dogs are going to start barking. This one is a Hive of Activity um, by Dury Jones Cross Stitch. And the Bish Who Stitch is the name of her on Instagram. She shared it. But that one is super cute. It's a circular one. That one would be fun to do too. So you can see buying stuff. I'm just buying all kinds of stuff. All right. Anyway, next order of business. I did not pre order anything yet. Um, I'm going to, but I just haven't done it yet. Okay, next bit of business. I got my one, two, three stitch order in. I ordered the other two colors of beads that I need for this one that I'm going to be starting. And I looked at getting all of the dinky dies. And it was going to be pretty expensive, like 90 something dollars for all of the dinky dies. So I can't decide. I'm going to sit on this one and wait. I'm supposed to technically start this one the 19th. So I'm going to see. I'm going to think about it. I thought I'll just do it in DMC. And then there's one thread of dinky dies, Aeroline, that isn't equivalent to anything else. So I went ahead and got the skeins of that that I was going to need. But I don't know. Hang on, my husband's coming in. Okay, so I got that in. And that is all of the haul that I have done. I think. No, I've got my Fabric of the Month Club fabric. Hang on. Sorry you're seeing my head. I was looking for it. Don't know where I put it. I don't know where I put it. Anyway, it may be in one of these bags. I'll look in a minute. I don't think it is. I'll just have to share it next one. So anyway, yeah. I am in the process of doing March Mania, inspired by Brenda, the Handwork Maniac. She is doing Mania in March and May because in May she's too busy and she thought if she goes ahead and gives it her all in March, then what she can do in May, she can do. So I like that idea because I kind of got a backup plan if something happens. So I'm graduating the 1st of May, so I really like that idea, and I jumped in on it too. So this is my board back here, and this is not where it stays. My office is a disaster right now, but I put it up here so I could remember what to show you. And there was a horrible glare on the side of the, the refrigerator. Anyway, this is my basement office area. Long story. So, before I get into stitching, I have been, I mentioned last video that I'm doing a new stitching challenge on Facebook. I'm going to try it for this month before I give you my input on it. But, so far I am loving it because in the first week, 
of this month, I got 2,869 stitches in. And I haven't been stitching even an hour a day. So, like, I stitched two and a half hours on the first, an hour on the second, four and a half on the third, an hour and 45 minutes on the fourth, uh, two hours and 45 minutes on the fifth, four hours and 25 minutes, no, four hours and 15 minutes on the sixth, and then an hour and a half on the seventh. So, I have been out of school, and I have been drawing up a storm, but I have been taking breaks from that because if I draw for too long, I make color color errors in my drawing. So I have to step away from it and come back with a fresh mind. So I have been stitching in amongst the drawing. So that's where I'm at. But so far, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And I think I've already mentioned this on another video. So if you're here again, I'm sorry. But I think I'm going to make a separate board to do for April and June. And then come back to this board again in May. But anyway, here we go. On the first, ooh, wait, before I start, I need y'all's help. I need your help. I have two things to tell you about. One, let me just jump into this right quick, is the April Mystery Project Bag sign up. I'm going to start doing a mystery project bag every month that you pre-order in advance, and then it comes to you as a total surprise each month. And they're going to be themed. And they're going to have hints and all that good stuff. So, I will put a link below where you can go check it out. Basically, what it is, is I'm actually going to quilt. And not just take a solid piece of fabric and quilt it. I'm going to cut blocks and quilt project bags. So, they will be a 10 by 14 size, which is a pretty standard size. You cannot see the design of what I'm doing with it until it arrives at your house. Um, you will also have coordinating floss drops with it. Uh, ten of those. Ten coordinating floss drops to go with your project bag. That's what you get. And it will be mailed out. Okay, let me back up for my dates. Because I've started this kind of late in the month, you're going to be missing out on like a week. So between now and March the 24th, April's project bag is for sale. April the 24th, after that date, you can't order anymore. That gives me enough time to make the project bags that are ordered. They go out on April the 1st. Hopefully, everybody will have their project bag by April the 7th. But in an effort for it to be a surprise for everybody, I'm not going to show the design until April the 7th of what the mystery bag looked like. Because I genuinely want for it to be a surprise. And I'm going to ask everybody who orders to not post on social media until April the 7th. That way, it's a mystery for everybody. If the post office screws it up, I'm sorry. But I'm hoping that everybody will have it to them in about a week. Everything that I've shipped so far across the United States has took five days. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we'll do it. The next mystery project bag for May will be allowed to be purchased April 1st through April 23rd. They will be shipped out May 1st. Same thing. The 7th, I will reveal the thing. There you go. And then from the people who purchased the mystery bag, I will have a drawing for a free needle minder that is themed for the project bag and a scissor jewelry attachment for your scissors that goes along with the theme of the mystery project bag. So if you need more clarification and what I said, you can rewind it, rewatch it, or you can go over to my website, sowhatstitcher.com. At the top, click shop, and it's one of the very first things that comes up. So I'll put a link below. I think that's going to be so fun. Be like a little mini present. I've really enjoyed the fabric of the month club, so I thought, why not do something like that with project bags? So, there you go. Alright, last announcement before stitching. I need y'all's help. Can y'all help me? I am so close, so close to a thousand subscribers. I'm not as close. I think I've got 425 on Instagram, but I'm very, very close on YouTube. I would love to have a thousand subscribers on YouTube and a thousand followers on Instagram. So, would you help me? I would love to have this done. 
I started stitching on April the 12th of last year, and my very first floss tube, floss tube was April the 21st of last year. By April the 21st of this year, that's my goal. I would love to have a thousand subscribers and a thousand Instagram followers. So I'm going to ask for your help. Would you give me a shout out, please, to your friends, your other stitchy friends, on your Instagram, whatever? I would appreciate it so much. That can be my one year flossiversary gift. And it don't cost you anything. You can just help me. It would make me so happy. That's a goal. I would love to have it happen. Okay, stitching stuff. I've already talked 15 minutes. Holy mackerel. All right, the very first thing. What did I do? Oh, yeah. Was a new start. This is a free chart. I've done show y'all this, I think. I think I may have did a couple more stitches, though. Um, it is a free chart by Cherry Hill Stitchery called Happy Easter. Yes. Happy Easter is the name of it. I'm doing it on 20 count black Ada. Um, two strands of floss over one thread on Ada. So that's all I've got done. Alright, so there's that one. I did do a little bit more on it from the last time I showed you that, but that was on the 1st, March 1st. Okay, March the 2nd was another new start by Lizzie Kate. Um, where did I put it? This is what happens when you have so many projects. Okay. It is Do Small Things with Great Love. I told you love is my word this year. I am using the Called For DMC on a cream colored 18 count Ada. So got that far on that one. That one's fun. I love these little quick stitches. Okay. The next one on March 3rd was also a new start. Um trying to look at the name of it. The B Comes. It is by Lilia Laya G. Umstead. I'm looking. I am doing this pattern on 32 count. Picture this plus. Dublin is the color. I gotta take it out so I can show you. I should have been more organized. Okay, here it is. But this is a Lilia Studio piece. Here's what it's going to look like. Sorry, but if I don't put this stuff back the way I got it, I'm in trouble. And here's where I got This was a new start. I love the little bee. This one a, was a really fun stitch. I stitched, I think, four and a half hours on this one that day. Because it was just fun to stitch. Okay. Day four was God Bless America. I didn't get as much stitched on this one because this is a DMC kit. No, take it back. Design Works kit. And the threads was a hot mess. Like, they were on a strip and it had hole punches and it had a number. But when you looked on the thing to see what the symbol was... It was clear that that was not the right thread. Like they had them all jacked up. So I spent a ton of time trying to get those threads straightened out. But this is God Bless America by uh, Jaylen. And I said it wrong. I thought it was Design Works. Oh, it is. Design Works Crafts is Jaylen, but whatever. I got this one at Walmart. This was one of the first pieces that I bought. Okay. So it goes like this. So there's where I got on it. And that little star right there is stitched. So. Not that far on that one. After I got those threads straightened out. Ooh, that's a hot mess. Alright. Day five is Basket. By Lizzie Kate. Yeah, Basket. There's what it'll look like. And I worked on this one. I went and visited with my grandmother 
for several hours and we sit and watched old TV shows. We watched Silver Spoons, I don't know, five or six different ones and we talked. She talked about when she gave birth to her oldest and when she was a kid and we had a good evening, had supper together. But there's what I got on that one. And I'm doing this one on 28 Count Lugana. This is my Fabric of the Month Club from Fortnite Fabrics. So that's what I'm stitching that one on. I didn't have the um, right color to do the K, so that's why I'm missing the K. That one was fun to do. Um, and let me back up and say the two Easter pieces, Basket by Lizzy Kate and the Happy Easter by Cherry Hill Stitchery are my whip go pieces this month. So I will be working on getting those finished. All right, day six is summer. I think it's hello summer technically. This was in the World of Cross Stitching magazine, July 2021. There's that, the one it is. And here's what it's going to look like. Super cute. And what did I get? Yeah, like this. So I got that much done. There's going to be a pretty good bit of back stitching around these letters, but got that one worked on. And again, some of these I didn't get a whole lot done on um, because I was still in school. For part of these days, the f the sixth was my last day of school. So, what the sixth? Wait, I don't know what day it is. Yeah, yeah, everything had to be submitted the sixth. So I had some limited days in time there. All right, next is Patchwork de la Plage by Jardin Prive, I think. And if I butchered the French, that should be your indication. I don't speak it. That's what it's going to look like. This one is on a 28 count casual linen. I don't have a brand. Sorry. This was my very first piece of linen that I bought. I bought this pattern and this linen when me and my aunt went to a cross stitch thing last year. Mm -mm. We thought it was a cross stitch thing. It was a needlepoint thing. But we sit there and still did our cross stitch. Talk about awkward. But anyway. There's where I've got on it. I even did some of the back stitching up here. You can see it. A running stitch. So that one has got a really fun border on it. That was I sat down last night and just popped that out in a hurry. Was that last night? Yeah, last night. Okay. And I'm designing my own piece for Easter. And it will be out this next week. But I'm going to give you a little bitty tiny sneak peek. A little bitty tiny sneak peek. And that's all I'm going to show you. It's Easter themed. So I've been stitching on that quite a bit. So that has also taken up my my other stitchy time. Um, I don't think I've stitched on this one since. I can't remember so I'm going to show you anyway. I'm want, I was wanting to get this one done the first couple of days of the month. It didn't happen. I just got to sit down and do it. I mean, it's so close. I'm going to try and work on that this week. Because I still, this week is my short week of classes. My days are running together. That's what's wrong. Yeah, this is just Tuesday. So this week is my week of classes. That board's throwing me off because it ain't the calendar. And then, last but not least that I worked on is my temperature tree and I'm still behind. I'm still behind. But it's okay. I'll catch up. But I did get February's branch put in. I just gotta go back in now and add the leaves. So hoping between drawing and this I will get these caught up this week. And that's my stitching for the week. I have not stitched on the piece that I'm supposed to stitch on for today. So, I'm going to be working on that. I 
also wanted to shout out to some friends because I'm doing the common thread stitcher challenge and the theme yesterday was your stitchy place and I have been debating we take times where we sit down and we binge watch some TV every afternoon and then we take periods where we never watch TV so when we were having the period of binge watching all of the TV shows the upstairs stitchy spot that I had was perfect but here lately we've not been sitting watching TV hardly any or in the bed or sometimes downstairs so I was contemplating about moving my stitchy spot and I was looking through other people's stitchy spots and there's multiple people that have two stitchy spots so I'm gonna have two also I'm gonna have two too so I'm going to be working on I started it this afternoon but I'm not gonna show it to you till next week till I see how it works so I will have a daytime stitchy spot, or I should say, a not watching TV stitchy spot, and then I'll have a binge watching TV stitchy spot. Say that three times fast. Anyhow, Chris B underscore stitch on Instagram is the one who was the first one that I had seen that had two stitchy spots. So she has a daytime stitchy spot and an evening stitchy spot. And she even has two Lowry stands. So I think I'm going to do it. And then I can totally relate to Stitches of Heritage on Instagram. She says anywhere she is, she can stitch. And here lately, that's how I've been. We've been to Tennessee. We've been camping. Anywhere I can sit my tail down and stitch, that's where I want to stitch. I see Lawrenceburg also said she had two stitching spaces. So I just think it's cool. So I'm going to do two stitchy spaces. That's it. So my plans for this week are draw. I have got so much drawing to get finished some secret commissions to get finished up now that I've got time from school so that is top priority in the afternoons because I do my drawings my artist stuff like a business I have time tracking and I work I have worked 11 12 hour days for myself so I hope I don't do too many of that this week I might I know I can't Thursday I gotta take my son to some doctor's appointments but maybe Friday I don't know I gotta get these drawings done and then I'm going to be working on this other stuff too. I want to get my temperature tree caught up this week. I would love to get that have a cup of cheer piece done. I need to work more on my two Easter pieces. And then I have got these pieces up here to work on. So that's my goals. I'm so proud though. I did 2,869 stitches last week. And I know for some of y'all that ain't a big deal. Y'all can stitch, sit down and pop them out. That in a day. But I have not been stitching too much here lately. I kind of lost my stitchy bug in January. No, February. So he's back or she's back, whatever it is. I'm glad it is. All right, guys, I think that is all that I have got today. Again, thanks you to everybody who has been commenting and tagging me in on stuff on Instagram and for purchasing project bags. I am overwhelmed of all of your support, and I just love all my stitchy friends. I am also, mmm, snap, I forgot to get that date. We are going to do a Zoom. I'm going to do, I'm hosting a Zoom virtual stitch on the 18th, Friday, March 18th. Um, I will put a link down below this video when it's set up because where you go to sign up, you will go to my website and so what stitcher.com and there will be a place that will say sign up for the virtual stitch and you can put 
your information in there. I think for the free Zoom, there's a limitation of how many people that I can put in it, but I will double check that and whatever. But you can sign up for it on there. I would like to do that once a month. Um, I'm going to do it on a Friday evening this time. I realize that may not be convenient for some people. You know what? I'm not going to do it on Friday evening either. Just hit me. I've got something to do on Friday evening. We're going to say on Tuesday the 15th. March 15th. That's when we'll do it. Tuesday, March 15th. Anyway. You can find details over on my website. I'm going to go over there and get them put over there before this video uploads. So it will be ready to go and live. Because I want to stitch with my friends. So come join us. Alright guys, I will see you all very soon. Love to you all and may you have a good, fabulous week. Bye.